things underway. The Penguins start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Sends the pass in front. A new pass. And that's stopped. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Ajo's a great playmaker. He's got that third eye zone ability, which means he reads the ice so well and finds his teammates with great passing plays. Crosby is known for switching to the backhand and for good reason. His beauty backhand zone ability makes those shots hard for the goalie to read. Look to one of these players to be a difference maker in this one. Back up to the booth. Came up with the save on that play. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and he scores! charge and really change any momentum swing in the game. I mean, he doesn't need much time or space. He knows how to score. It's the reason why he's their leading scorer. The Penguins and their fans are buzzing right now. How about that? A quick strike just minutes into this one. Well, that quick strike gets them on their feet. And listen, when you're playing, you can feel that energy. You feed off it when your home crowd is cheering for you, especially when you're playing well. No better way than getting on the board first. And that's knocked away by Orlov. Quick pass to Burns. Now a quick pass to Tara Bynan. The Hurricanes played along the boards. The Penguins have it now. Carolina's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Penguins have it from their own end. Great use of the stick here at center ice. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Tries to get it to Ajo. Carolina's on the attack. He's And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift is critical. The key factor on this goal is having the patience to wait for net front presence to take away the eyes of the goaltender who can't see it or track it. Then that shot comes with confidence, makes its way to traffic to the back of the net. Still lots of time left in the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Vulcans won the draw at center. Carolina's got the puck behind the net. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Denied that one. And he takes the dish. Here's a chance. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Tries to the crease. Can't connect as it goes off the stick. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Puck is grabbed here at center ice by Malkin. Takes a shot. Scores! He does it again. And it's a little milestone while he's at it. Yeah, it's good to your point, James. Nothing to shake a head at him. I mean, he can finish, he can distribute. He's doing it all this year. James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound pops out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it, with it on the ice, battle and compete for it. He does it and he buries it. Carolina's gone up by one in the back half of period number one, and they're really starting to assert themselves now here, Cheryl. You said it. They've been assertive, and they've been dominant in terms of shot share here, James. When they see an opening, they are taking it, and their opponent really doesn't know what to do. Knocked away. The Penguins have played from the defensive zone. Goes it to the middle. Oh, and he whiffs on it. Slides the pass over to Martinick. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Jarvis. Great defensive effort with the stick. Redirected off a stick. And he denied that opportunity. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's... There it is! He scores! All over the rebound! And he taps it in! This is what you call having a nose for the net. You take the initial shot and you get back to the front of the net for your own rebound. That's a great tenacious goal.
Here in the late going to the frame. We got a tie game. Ajo's one possession. Here's a short pass to Tara Vinen. And that's a smart heads up play by Raquel. Let's get the call. Once the stick engages at that lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. to find the puck. Carter's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. James, I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. He doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Martinix recognizing they're still short-handed here as they get ready for the face-off. Almost, almost out of the box. Still anyone's game as the power play comes up empty-handed. Specialty teams are so huge in any game, James, especially when it's tied. You don't want to fall behind and have discipline really be a factor in the game. The Hurricanes carried along the wall. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back for period number two in a moment. Seeds teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Well, let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Hurricanes have had zero offensive production in this game. They've been on their heels, and really their opponent is taking it to them. Their goaltender has been strong, and it's a reason that this game is still tied. Fires it on net. It's in his goal. taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Penguins have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Scooped up along the wall by Svechnikov. Ajo's got the puck along the wing. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to Crosby. Let's see what the officials are calling. For the one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. for his team. 
team, guys. His zone ability is one part of his game that can help his team close this gap. Off the draw, they take possession. And now he moves it quickly to Achari. Oh, the Denies him in close. And he takes the feed. Gensel's been so elusive tonight. He's usually got that shot mentality, but not tonight. He's moving the puck and distributing it. I don't think the coverage knows what to do. They're so used to seeing him firing it towards the net. Amo's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Kuznetsov's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Kupkiniemi. Now that was a good heads up read to make that save. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. Getzel's taking it from his own end. They go on the attack through center. Jarvis has the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Passes over to Carter. Shot. Pittsburgh's back to even strength as they killed off the penalty. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just weren't able to generate anything on that one. And that's a tough one to take as they remain down by a goal at even strength. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. The Penguins continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Malkins won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. The Hurricanes cross the line and gain the zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Slittering feed! And that goes off someone in front. Neutralize the threat. Across the line, down the left wall. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Karabinen's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one, and the puck dies on his stick. Moves it quickly over to Latang. Intercepted at center by Aho. Toss up the puck after that hit. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Natalkovich. Pittsburgh's through center right now in the offensive end. Denies him in front. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Can't maintain possession. Handles the puck. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Makes a save. Burns takes it along the wing. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Raquel. And that's intercepted by Burns. Slides the puck to Tara Vinen. Slides it out in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Puck sent over to Bemstrom. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Present your ticket stuff from tonight's game with the Costa Tampa off of your meal at Fun Bill Burgers Family Restaurant. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Final frame is underway here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Hurricanes, Coach, won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent... Scores! They strike again, and it's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. 
The Penguins are showing no signs of slowing down tonight. No, they're not. And I don't know what I said in that intermission, but they came out on fire. Their first five strides, the way they were right with their possession, their dominant play all over the ice, they've been outstanding. Puck picked up by Terravina. And that's picked up by Carlson. He's got two goals already. Puck's on his stick. He's hunting his third. Here's the shot. Too much traffic in the lane. And he slides it quickly to Carlson. And that's a great hits up play by Terravina. Takes the feed. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Ajo is trying to get a little too fancy with the puck here. And as a result, he loses it. Great stop by Kuchnikov! As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Pittsburgh's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Quick pass to Orlov. Centering feed! And that's stopped! The Hurricanes have it against the wall. Handles the puck at the point. Grabs control of it at the point. Played big in the moment there. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling wide because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. I love the way they were able to execute on this odd man rush. James really used the ice to their advantage, manipulating their opponent, the ice that they did have, and then they were able to capitalize when the shot came their way. The Penguins probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here. I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency's always the word that coaches talk about. And if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. And that's intercepted by Pesci. Carolina's got the puck against the boards. Here's a shot. What a save. They've got numbers here. And that's blocked. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Carolina's been dominating throughout this whole game, James. They're going to get what they deserve in the end here. But they've been outworked. They haven't managed the puck. And the result is evident on the scoreboard. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Denies that opportunity. Shot! Oh, wow! Stops the game! Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And here's the pass to Crosby. Pittsburgh's top line is going to come on the ice, and there's no coaching decision to be made here. I mean, they've been so effective, they've contributed, and they're a reason why they're in the lead. And here's a shot! Gets in front of him. Too much congestion blocks the shot. A chance, and that one's turned aside. They are really feeling it now here in the end zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a close save by Nedeljkovic. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. Pittsburgh's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. He's no 
known for his beauty backhand. The velocity and the accuracy, I don't know how he knows where it's going, James, because the goaltender certainly doesn't. Pittsburgh's coaches have to be impressed from what they're seeing from their players tonight. All sorts of scoring chances, and they lead late in the third. Malkin's won the draw here in the neutral zone.